So this lesson, it was pretty much um, a rubric that they used. Um, students were able to create a brochure, present their brochure um, on their disease of choice that they've been researching. Um, that was that another when they were doing their chores, everybody knows what tools to use for specific chores. You'll see if they're scraping manure off the ground, they're using flathead shovels, not roundhead shovels. Um, they're using scrubby brushes for the pond. Everybody knows what tool we for what chore. Uh, rubric, it's easy for the, the students to all know the uh, guidelines on which they'll be graded, um, as well as when they do their presentation, students knew it was a 10 point scale. Um, so one being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Um, they are, as long as students were able to get at least two facts from their presentation, they should be okay. Um, the tools that they use, it's the most effective, um, easier way. I know the animals won't get hurt if they do use these tools, and I know my students will all be safe. Um, it's easy to grade. Um, when you have a rubric, all I do is look at the rubric and I make sure that it follows step by step. So easy for me, easy for the students, it works out. <laughs> uh, to the materials, no, I would change um, student presentation formats, but other than that, the materials that they were used, they were able to create something following a rubric and they were able to present following a rubric. To their lives, they're going to have to learn to present. Either way you go, you're going to have to learn to communicate. So with that lesson, that was one of my things. This class does not present. They usually don't like to. That's why they do animal systems, because they're kind of hiding in the back, working with animals. Whereas this, today, they had to actually come up in front of the class and present, which a lot of them were a lot shy. But I was very proud of them, because my quiet ones actually went up and talked. And even though they was having trouble announcing a lot of the words, they were able to still go through with the, the task. Um, I also love when they do chores because you see all the kids working together. Even though they're done with their chore, they're helping the other, um, their partners, helping everybody out to get everything done. <laughs>